Hey everyone, it is Andrew here over at IDB. We're going to check out some of the best tweaks for the month of November 2016. Starting off with a very recent one that we covered and that is Columba. It is a quick reply and easy way to create messages right from the volume HUD or an activator gesture. It allows you to schedule those messages for some time in the future, create your own custom templates to quick reply to messages that need to come up. You can add attachments, jump right into the message app, view your history, and lots more. You can find it easily inside of the Big Boss repo for only 99 cents. Other than messages, one of the areas that I always have a big interest in is stuff for the lock screen. And that is where Lock Launch app comes into play. It is a very simple tweak, but it's really, really useful. Simply go into the settings and choose up to six different applications that you want to view right from the lock screen. And you can launch them right from there. You can even go in and churn off the animations and set how opaque you want those icons to be. So do you want to see them all the way, all the brightness kind of all the way up, or lower that opacity so you see them just a little bit and other people don't really notice them on your lock screen. It is available inside of Cydia for only 99 cents. Do you ever have that app that you always need all the time and you want to have it really readily available? Well, Pullover makes that super useful. Say I like to check in on the news all the time. I'm only seeing what is new in the news. Or maybe I'm checking into my messages or into Twitter. Whatever the case may be, you can easily assign that to this little pull tab here on the side of your screen. So no matter where you are, that tab will always be there and you can slide it right out and get into the application inside of a little slide over panel. It's really, really useful and you can interact with the whole application like, like as you're in the application itself and not just in this little slide over panel. You can go into the settings and change a lot of things like the size of the tab. So if it's too big for you, you can change that. And you even change the position. So if you don't want it at the bottom, if you want it more at the top or the other side of the screen, you all you have to do is just drag that little tab and pull around that sidebar to realign it to where exactly you want it to be. This is a really neat one. I've not seen too many things like this, but it makes it really nice if you need to get to that certain app all the time. Even better, it is available for free from the Big Boss repo inside of Cydia. So you notice something missing here? That's right, the clock app. This is a simple little tweak. If you ever wanted to make that clock app clear, the icon itself, well, clear clock view does just like that. Settings are bare minimal, simply enabling or disabling it, and it makes your clock show up clear on your launch screen. There's not really a lot of explaining to you on what it does other than just make the background clear. In iOS 10, Apple brought emoji to the quick type keyboard. They allowed you to kind of have emoji suggestions as well as other words. Well, emoji suggest brings that feature from iOS 10 into iOS 9 and whatever this <laughs> is installed on. So now as I'm typing word, I can type in happy and I'll immediately see a suggestion for a happy face or an angry face or a sad face. Doesn't work with just faces. I can do it with food and food emojis I have there or even something random like the moon. It's really handy, and if you use emoji quite often, this is something you should definitely check out for free inside of Cydia. Pickpocket is a beast of an app. There is so much here to cover, but we'll go over the basics of it, but this is the ultimate way to protect your phone. There are simple things like this lost button on the front of your phone, so if somebody finds it, they can tap on that. It'll tell them who you are, where you can be found, and they can call or send you an email. So an easy way for them to be proactive in sending you your phone. However, it could be more malicious. Someone could be trying to steal your phone and there are tons of security features to help that. So there can be things like fake shutting down your phone. When they hold out the power button for a few seconds, it turns your phone off. They think it's off, but it's actually still running. It'll even do things like disable uh, or enable do not disturb and low power mode. So that way your phone battery will really last as long as possible, allowing you to track it and hopefully find it. It can send you pictures of someone who's in your phone. So it can take pictures from the front or back and send you a text or an email. It'll alert you if somebody tries to remove a SIM card or if your phone password was put in too many times, it'll do certain things like fake shutdown or disabling airplane mode from the control center so that way people can't swipe up from the bottom, disable airplane mode and block, block all the GPS tracking. So there are a ton of different things in here. So if you ever are worried about somebody stealing your phone, Pickpocket is definitely a tweak that you should check out and go through all these settings and set them up how you would like them. Lastly, we have crypto. Crypto is really cool because it works in many different applications. You simply set a master password and then you can encrypt any text you'd like. It can be in a text or in a note or even in Facebook. 
and then only people who have crypto on their phone can decrypt those messages. So if I have crypto installed, I encrypt this secret phrase, I send it over to Anthony, Anthony has crypto installed, he can decrypt it with his password and see what I've put in there. He uses a very strong 256 AES encryption. So what did you guys think of these tweaks? Are there other ones out there that we didn't cover that you want to know more about? Let us know down in the comments below. Otherwise, click on that big subscribe button. And until next time, this is Andrew for IDB.